guys, so today I'm going to be filming a products not worth the hype video. I haven't filmed one of these in ages and these are my favourite videos to watch. Um, I've got some very unpopular opinions in here, so please don't take them personally, they're your favourite kind of products. So if I have said I love them before, they've just kind of come down to me and thought, actually, they're not worth as much hype as they get. Some products are so, so overhyped and everybody goes out and buys them and then thinks, oh, actually, this wasn't that great just because a couple of people said it was amazing. If these are some of your favourite products, I'm really sorry that I don't like them. And just because I don't like them doesn't mean that you won't like them. Um, so go and check out a few different reviews on some of the things that I've said because a lot of these, I know people that absolutely love them and I don't necessarily not like these products. Some of them I really like, but I just don't think... I love them as much as I thought I would. I'll just get the biggest unpopular opinion out of the way. I have done a first impressions on this um, foundation and I said I really liked it. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I like it. I do like it. I don't think I love it. It's not amazing. I did say that in the first impressions that I did feel like it made me quite oily throughout the day. And it just slips and slides on my skin. I think that's one of my main issues. I think when you get to the middle of the day and you've got kind of like lines on your nose or on your forehead because it's moved around, that's not the most, you know, the best look. I don't particularly think my foundation looks gorgeous after looking like that. Um, I find I need a lot of powder when I use this, and I do still use it as one of like my most used foundations at the moment, it's in my rotation. But I'm just saying, in comparison to the amount of hype it gets, the amount of hype it gets makes it sound like it is the holy grail of foundations. It does everything anybody could ever want. <laughs> but for me, it is a nice foundation, it's okay. I don't think I'd repurchase this, and for me, as I said, it just slips and slides and gets really oily and greasy quite a lot. My next thing has got to be Max Whirl Lip Liner. The amount of hype around this was ridiculous, right? And I really like the colour, right? And I love the colour. And I think it's more just to do with the lip liner consistency. I had never tried a MAC lip liner before I got Whirl. Um, and the formula of this for me is so drying. It feels like such a cheap lip liner in my opinion. Just the way it glides across the lips isn't very soft at all. This has got like to a, I don't know what you call it, a nub kind of thing. I haven't sharpened it because I just don't use it. As you can see, it's really long. Um, I prefer to use the Gosh, um, the Gosh lip liner in Nugget. That's a really good dupe of the MAC Whirl lip liner. And the consistency of that one is just so much nicer it's so much creamier it goes onto the lips and i don't feel like i'm pulling my skin this just feels like i'm just literally pulling it and like grating it it's just absolutely horrible um and i waited such a long time to get this and when i got it i was so disappointed i was like oh is that it and as i say i love the color i think it's a fantastic color i love all of these kind of like brownie purpley nudes they're my favorite lipsticks and these are the only thing really i wear at the moment um and for like the past six months is the only thing that i've worn but just the consistency of this, it's just not fab. The next one isn't particularly this particular product. This is the NYX um, Black Mousse Eyeliner. Um, but in kind of general, gel liners. This says mousse on it, but it's basically a gel liner. Gel liners, I don't get it. Where's the hype? I cannot do it. I don't know if it's just me being stupid, but I'm quite good at liquid liner. Like, not amazing, but I can easily do like a good old line and it's kind of straight and with no, you know, flicky up bits in it. And I feel like I can get quite a straight line and like a clean line. With this, no way. It goes really jagged and I don't feel like I can get a clean line that you see on all these Instagram posts and all these little Facebook videos. I can never get that kind of clean line. I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. It's obviously the brush that I'm using, but I've used so many different gel liners and so many different brushes with them. I just don't get it. My next unpopular one is kind of, there's something... My next unpopular one has a bit of a explanation. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I absolutely love the concealer. I think it's great, I really like it. But this lasts like two seconds, like as in in the tube. I got this on Christmas, okay? So I got it as a Christmas present on Christmas day. Um, and as I say, I really like the concealer and I'm really grateful for getting it as a present. But literally I feel like I've nearly run out of it and it's like what the 10th of February like what the hell is going on like when I pull it out like just not much comes on out the applicator at all like I'll try and do a close-up to show you because literally hardly any comes out I feel like I have to like put it in and out and in and out just to get enough for my under eyes and for my under eyes I like quite a lot of concealer to do kind of like a highlighting situation underneath my eyes and I like quite a lot this just doesn't work for me because because I like to use a lot of concealer 
and it literally feels like there's hardly any in this tube, I feel like I don't actually get that much out of it, if that makes sense. Um, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it because I think it's really bad value for money. My Makeup Forever um, HD Full Cover Concealer thingy, um, I had that for over a year and that like lasts and lasts and lasts. There was so much in there and you just needed the tiniest bit and it just worked. And in comparison, that was so much better value than this one. Next thing is something that was hyped up a while ago and it's only a drugstore product so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but this is the 17 Skin Wow three-way highlighter. Now, for me, I have oily skin, um, and I get very greasy and very oily throughout the day anyway. Um, as you will have noticed if you watch my vlogs, I always go, I need to powder. <laughs> um, and that is just me all over. So this is not a great situation for me. I like highlight it in a concentrated area, like on the top of my cheekbones, my brow bone, inner corner, and my cupid's bow. I don't like it anywhere else. So for this, using it kind of like all over my face was absolute hell on earth. Um, it just wasn't working. And using this like on top of foundation and kind of like having to blend it in, I felt it just made the foundation just disappear away off of my skin. But as I say, I just don't really get it. But I think maybe you had dry skin, I think it would probably work for you. Um, and also, it's just a really big tube. And I just don't understand how I'd ever get through this whole thing. I think it's great if you really like it for a big tube. But it's just... I don't know, I just don't really, I don't know, I don't get it. My next one is the Naked 3 palette. Now I can't remember whether I've mentioned this in a Products Not Worth the Hype video or Disappointed Products or something like that before. Um, but for me, I have just hardly used this. Um, and this is because it's my own fault. I just don't use these type of colours. And I think the majority of people have said this, that they don't use these type of colours. And it's really bad because I actually don't want to sell it just because I've got all the Naked palettes and I want to like keep it with all of the other Naked palettes. How bad is that? Um, but I I don't know, I just don't really use some of the colours and I feel like there's not enough variation of colours in here. Some of them are very, very similar and I use kind of the end lot like more than these lot at the front. They're just very, very pink and kind of like rosy toned and a bit too pink for my liking. But as I say, I just like having them all together so that's why I don't get rid of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and didn't hate me too much for saying that I didn't like things that you guys liked. Um, as I say, it doesn't mean that I don't like the products, it just means that they have too much hype around them for what I think of them, if that makes sense. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed before, then the button is just down below. I really hope you enjoy my videos at the moment. I feel like I'm really like into YouTube at the moment. I don't know, I'm just really enjoying being part of it and loving my channel at the moment. So thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye!